hi friends welcome all to deep matrix in today's video we see about how to use matlab to find the partial fraction decomposition of a rational function so first of all what is partial fraction partial fraction is nothing but breaking down of a larger rational fractions into smaller simpler fraction as for example here we have a rational function 7x minus 23 divided by x square minus 7x plus 10 if we break this fraction into simpler fraction we get a value 4 by x minus 5 plus 3 by x minus 2 so when you uh, multiply these two fractions so we will get this as output so in partial fraction expansion we are doing the reverse thing uh, breaking down the larger fraction into smaller parts so next how we are going to do it with matlab uh, in matlab we have a special function named residue so this residue will write the uh, residue values and pole value of the partial fraction expansion so here's the demo so here we have a numerator 7 minus 23 so in in matlab we don't need to mention those x and all because uh, instead of mentioning the uh, variable names we are using the variables coefficient so 7 and minus 23 so this is taken from here and for denominator we have 1 minus 7 10 these are the denominator polynomials so next r comma p comma k equal to residue of numerator comma denominator so we are passing the numerator and denominator coefficient to the residue function the values written from the residue function are first one r is a residue value so r, here r is nothing but this 4 and 3 and next is p so p is nothing but 5 and 2 um, here you can see uh, r values are taken as such but whereas uh, after getting the value of p we need to put a minus before that because it is in the format s minus p s minus p2 that's it so here are our values so now you can see our residue contain 4 and 3 so here we have 4 and 3 and the value of poles is 5 2 so so here you can see as I said before we need to put a minus sign before those pole values because um, these values are taken after equating the expression with 0 uh, example x minus 5 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 5 so here we don't have any k value this is what I am trying to explain in this video uh, hope you all enjoyed it see you in the next one until then enjoy learning thank you